Yo, what is up? Chillfeed here, back bringing you another Borderlands 3 video. After I finish part 6 of my all legendary weapon series, I will now give you two quick videos about all the legendary grenade mods in this game, with part 1 being uploaded right now and part 2 is coming tomorrow. Just like with the legendary weapons, I will talk and show you everything you need to know about the grenades. And if you want to know more about grenade mechanics in general, go check out my video I uploaded yesterday. There was quite a lot for me that I didn't know about before. And as always, if you find any of these videos at least a little helpful informative or enjoyable make sure to just take a second of your time and help me out by leaving a like and if you don't want to miss out on any of my future content i have lots more coming your ways so give a small youtuber a chance and subscribe so with that out of the way let's jump right into the video with the very first legendary grenade mod from 20 in total and that is trooper's organ and in my case it is the cloning trooper's organ but in your case this prefix can change and like i said if you want to know more about the prefixes of a grenade and what they mean in terms of changing the mechanics and grenade types, check out my video from yesterday. This Atlas grenade mod can come as any grenade type and it is in my case a homing grenade which might be perfect for what it does since it is a transfusion grenade that has the highest chance to drop from Chupacabra right here on Athena's. It has the red text Cabron that can roughly translate into male goat and refers to the goat sucker Chupacabra himself. If you can successfully stick your enemies with this grenade it will ignore their shields and tick down their health as long as it sticks and you can stack the effect by by sticking multiple grenades onto a target to let them deal even more damage and ultimately heal the user faster. It is surprisingly good for healing you but if you don't get the homing version of this grenade you have to be pretty accurate to hit an enemy for it to be even slightly effective. One of a few pre-order bonuses on this list is the diamond butt bomb and might be the best grenade mod in the entire game. Not for its damage, but for its reference to Butt Stallion herself from Borderlands 2. Which all started with Jack saying that he bought a pony made of diamonds because, of course, he is rich and later on gave it the name Butt Stallion. It first appeared in-game in Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep DLC, but in Borderlands 3, the diamond unicorn is now a homing grenade that always explodes on impact and it just looks funny to throw a horse at your enemies with rainbows and diamonds just everywhere. Unfortunately the damage isn't too great for late game but if you pre-order the super deluxe edition or season pass try it out for yourself. I mean it's Bud Stallion right? <laughs> Ever remember when the announcer back in COD Modern Warfare 2 screamed, we've been EMP'd, electronics are down? Probably not because why would you use an EMP when you can get a nuke, right? In Borderlands 3, the EMP is probably just as useful as it was in COD games, but still not used by many since, again, it can't really kill anyone. It is a grenade that is quite literally like a real life EMP, it can of course only come in shock element and will always be a longbow grenade. It has a great splash radius where everyone hit by it will almost instantly get rid of their shields. It cannot damage flash or armored enemies though, so it serves more of a support grenade purpose for playing with friends or with Zane's gadget or when playing against enemies with big shields. If you want to get it, you have to come to the Meridian Metropolex right here to the Catcherite station to find a safe station that is nearby one of Zero's bounty targets called Baron Nagan. Just follow the path you see on screen and kill Baron Nagan for a chance to get the EMP. If you want something that reminds you of Troy's constant screaming from his boss fight every time you use it, try and get the epicenter grenade. With the reference to the famous song Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash as the red text, it burns, burns, burns. It is only right that this grenade can only come with the fire element. It would always be an impact type of grenade with I believe either no prefix like mine or the spring prefix, where it will also become a jumping grenade and releases another wave of orbs after the initial explosion. The great thing about this grenade is that it does decent damage on impact. Impact. The 13 incendiary orbs fly out in every direction doing decent damage only to enemies and not yourself and it just looks amazing seeing these orbs every single time you throw it in my opinion. Unfortunately you have to pray for your luck to get this grenade since it can come from any loot source in the game at any time. Oh 
Even if I never understood why baseball is such a popular sport in the USA, I definitely have fun throwing fastballs at enemies' faces in Borderlands 3. This is a returning grenade from Borderlands 2, where it could for sure be more powerful than the version we have now. The Red Hacks forget the curveball Ricky, give him the heater. This is a quote from and reference to the movie Major League, and I think Gearbox missed the opportunity again to make it look more like an actual baseball in game, but that's just my opinion. You have to be very precise when throwing it, since it basically has no splash rate and is only effective when hitting an enemy directly. It has increased damage and travel speed compared to other lob grenades which makes it easier, but the damage could in my opinion be a little higher on this. Even though it is a lob grenade, it will always explode on impact and can come with any element from any lootable source in the game and is probably the most skill based grenade you can get. Good luck next life. The Firestorm grenade has been getting popular right after the pipe bomb was fixed and is a grenade for all of the people that wanna farm bosses in Borderlands 3 as quickly as possible and is not to be confused with the legendary Firestorm sniper rifle from Maliwan. It shares a somewhat similar trait though and as the red text from the bible soon afterwards the clouds descended upon the earth already suggests, it will rain down fireballs that kinda look like meteors and deal great AOE damage to your enemies. It can be of any possible grenade type but but only with the fire element and is great for dealing with basically any enemy in the game. Now if you want to increase your chances to get it, you have to kill Aurelia on Eden 6, which you will do anyways when playing through the main storyline, but it is also a world drop and I got mine from a toilet sometime, but this thing is far from being poop. There is no other way than to let you know that you have to get the hex grenade. This homing grenade is pure fun and it might be the most satisfying grenade to use and just sit there and watch it doing its work. In my case it is the cloning hex with cryo element but there are three other prefixes that it can come with and you should definitely try to get the recurring hex which I unfortunately don't have to show off for you guys. You can have a cloning hex that splits into two grenades mid flight, mitosis splits into three grenades and Murph causes it to split into three more on impact but recurring has both the effects from mitosis and Murph. and man do i want to get this thing badly it will always be a homing grenade that will create an elemental coil that damages every enemy in its range and this looks just straight up awesome and can be so devastating for your enemies pray for rngs to drop it for you from any lootable source in the game with any element attached to it oh and the red text keeper of the stars i hope to never find is a line from the song all bodies by between the buried and me again <laughs> When working at TDR, you probably don't know what is a grenade and what is a weapon anymore. Because the Hunter Seeker grenade is a homing grenade that will shoot bullets while homing in that are stronger than the explosion itself. The drone like mechanics and the red text grip tightly is a reference to the novel Dune. And the damage from the bullets combined with the explosion on impact was surprisingly good sometimes. But since the bullets are the main damage source, you are better off throwing it from mid to long range only. It can not only come from any lootable source in the game, but also with any element attached to it and can be a nice alternative to losing a whole magazine every time you throw something from Tidio and instead just lose one grenade. I have never watched the 1985 movie The Goonies, but thanks to the internet I know that the It's Piss Grenades red text, hey you guys, and the rare enemy that you can get it from is a reference to that movie. The grenade itself though is more reminiscent of an item from Team Fortress 2, and just like in that game, the grenade makes enemies take 20% more damage from every source for 6 seconds. Another special effect is that you can stop all status effects except for cryo on you or your allies when covering them in PP without poo poo. If you want the smell of pee pee all around your character, you have to travel to Conrad's hold right here on Pandora, get to the safe station behind the building where Sloth and Captain Thong can spawn, and kill Sloth for a chance at the grenade. They are one of the rare enemy spawns though, so don't expect them to be there every single time. And just like the EMP grenade, this works more as a support grenade than anything else, and when playing with friends, you are not really able to keep an eye out for them whenever they have a status effect applied to them, nor are the 6 seconds for 20% more damage that great for general mobs. Maybe it is nice to have against bosses, but that's pretty much it in my opinion.
I must say that I really love Moxie's bouncing pass in Borderlands 3. No, 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 not these. I, I mean, yes, of course, but I'm talking about the grenade right now. Not only is it referring to Moxie herself, but also to Pokemon with the red text, prepare for trouble and make it double. So two things are ready to like about this grenade. It is now only right that this grenade will only be rubberized so it bounces around everywhere and comes with fire and shock only from any loot source in the game. I usually don't like rubberized grenades, but Moxie's bouncing pairs are just different. You will always throw two grenades at once, one of them and the other fire that can actually deal good damage with an explosion on every bounce. If not for the grenade itself, go get this thing for Moxie. That's it for part 1, part 2 will follow tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this and if you did, make sure to leave a like and check out my legendary weapon guide series where I covered all of the legendary weapons in a similar style and make sure to subscribe if you'd want more content from me in the future. Thank everyone for watching and I see you in my next video.